I'm in Glasgow and it's Friday evening. Glasgow has one of the biggest problems with knife culture and gang violence in Europe. Glasgow's done a lot in recent years to improve its image, but the problems are still there in housing schemes like Pollock where I grew up. I was a youth worker there and I got to see for myself what can happen to an area when it's left to rot over a generation. I've now moved out of Pollock and I live in a more affluent part of town. I'm just as skint as I was before, but I feel a lot safer. My heart's still in Pollock, but it doesn't mean that I particularly like to go back there. I'm standing on the Green Bridge in the area where I grew up. Now this bridge has traditionally been a place where gangs would meet to fight. We're going to see if we can track down some gangs tonight. So what do you, what do you fight for? To be our good neighbour. To make sure that there's no shite bags. Tonight for a joint. So I'm going to be my dad. We have, particularly in Glasgow and the west of Scotland, lots of youth gangs. Um, groups of young people gathered around a territory. Um, and the territory might just be two or three streets. Um, and there is recreational violence. So it's a pride thing then? Aye. It's a bit of pride thing basically. You just don't want to let decide then. The violence with young men um, can be, 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 be quite quite intense. So do you never worry about the actual how serious it sometimes no, takes it? All, all we basically worry about is who we stabbing this weekend. And that's where lots and lots of our serious injuries and murders occur. So what do you do before what do you do before you go and fight? Back get mad with oh fucking basically it's all done to drink at the end of the day because you've got the adrenaline in you man they they, they, they can stop you. I think it's difficult to avoid violence in an area like Pollock. I think how you get involved in it, you have a choice. You can choose to stay out of the gang thing, or you can choose to be part of it. Um, I suppose I just resigned myself to the fact when I was younger that there was a chance if I walked out, out, out too far away from my own house, then I could get into a scuffle, because most of the time it's people preying on what they perceive to be an easy target. That's how this sort of works. I think the media use the young people as a scapegoat for basically a lot of social problems in society. We did take a chance in bringing them together. Mrs Wright, we're taking you out the outside area and it worked. Before I joined the project, I felt unsafe, to be honest, unsafe to walk over all the fill of pot. But now, now that I've joined the project, I've now stopped from fighting. I feel more safe than ever. But like, I still feel a tiny bit unsafe. But you walk, but the end of the day, in pot, you will always look behind your shoulders. Aye, aye, that's enough. <laughs> How do you feel when you, you see, even in your own city, how different it can be in one area for another area? I feel like a tramp, <laughs> to be honest. You feel lower class? Aye, a lot lower class. Very lot. Just get the young team in these two schemes together, see what can happen. But it won't happen. Why not? Because they hate each other, really. But they hate each other. I'm going to check out some of these websites. Uh, I know the young people are using them a lot to arrange things with one another, whether it be fighting or just meeting up or stuff like that. So I'm going to check out some of these sites just to see what I'm letting myself in for. The majority of them I don't think carry. That's my gut feeling. Uh, I think there'll be a few that do, and that, uh, that do carry and that's fair play to them. I can, 
kind of understand why. So I'll just be a bit anxious about that because it only takes one second of stupidity and, and then that's it, you know. So we'll just have to go and see how it goes. But, um, there's people that what, covering the news in Baghdad, but <laughs> then again the life expectancy in Baghdad's actually higher than it is in eight places in Glasgow, so <laughs> I don't know if that's really saying anything. <laughs> We know that they hang around this area pretty much. Uh, growing up here myself in the area, I'm familiar with the with the gang and I'm also being honest saying that it's a place that I would never usually would travel due to my preconceived ideas and also that it's out of the three territories, the furthest away from where I grew up. So I'm kind of anxious about that and also the fact that uh, we're going to meet a, a group of quite likely rowdy young people. So. I've got my, my Dutch courage in hand here. Um, it's probably not the most professional thing to do, but I did grow up here, so I know the deal. <laughs> okay, that's me feeling slightly better, as pathetic as it is, so let's do this. Where are you from then? Paul. Paul, right, what side of Paul? I we spoke to a few other boys from other areas. Gimps. And uh, gimps. Uh, right, what's a gimp for anybody who doesn't know? Gimps. <laughs> <laughs> so do you do you fight with cross and bushy crookie? So when does that happen? Every night. Got Disney for at the weekends. Uh, Word right, okay. quickly got around that we were filming and a lot more guys turned up. At this point uh, I began to feel a bit anxious. One of them then tried to grab the camera. Alright guys. No, 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 no. My instincts told me it was time to leave. You got that, bitch. Look my face like that, man. I don't know if I was being paranoid, or perhaps I'd been spending too much time reading the newspapers, but when you're in a situation like that, you just have to go with your gut feeling. This character. Well, it's fucking Liam Parker, right? <laughs> What's obvious is that there's no quick fix solution. To be fair to the police, they realise this too and are working to link up with the likes of education and social work services. Groups like the YMCA can help to make a real difference at local level, although their budgets are tight to say the least. This is a historical problem that may take more than a generation to solve, and unfortunately for me, I don't have a generation to wait. I just think it's a sad day that I had to leave the area that I grew up in because I never felt safe.